and I follow you all the time, big fan of yours. Yeah. I love that you're really passionate about music when you first met. Were you a fan of Quiet Riot, or you're like, I don't know? Actually, uh, I'm a hip hop rap girl. I thought so. So one of our dates, we went to the record store and he showed me a Quiet Riot album of his. So it was um, a learning experience to be in the rock world. It was funny, one of our first dates, I, I took her to a uh, metal school, which turned out to be Steel Panther gig, and our one of our first dates, and I think she she was shocked. And she's like, I can't do your world, and I'm like, that's not my world, it's not my world. And did you imagine switching roles? I mean, if you had to do what she does for a living? Well, nobody can do what she does for a living. She does it so brilliantly and flawlessly. Um, but when I was doing a hosting gig for Access TV, she brought me in the studio and got me on the teleprompter and rehearsed me a little bit. And uh, So that's always good to have that kind of... It was a bit of role reversal to have him hosting and then me at a music event. What happened? How do you think this event uh, impacts young people, girls, who want to get out and Look, I'm co-hosting with Tish, the founder of Daisy Guitars. I mean, she right there is helping girls get into music. I mean, just to see people doing it, then you might think, well, maybe I could do that too. So it's empowering. Absolutely. You know, Janis Joplin, The Runaways. I mean, there's all those women really knock down the doors for, for women to get their rock on, you know. And uh, women can rock just like, just like the guys, you know. I won't keep you any longer. Thank you.